Hello and welcome to Newsmax Health on Newsmax TV. Right now we're talking with Dr. David Samadi, Chief of Robotics in Minimally Invasive Surgery at the Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York. Dr. Samadi is a leading prostate surgeon and a pioneer in the field of robotic prostatectomy. It's great to have you with us. Good morning. All right, so let's say you take the test and the PSA reading comes back high. What is the next step? Normally when I see a patient in my office with an elevated PSA, the first thing is not to jump on the biopsy, it's, it's to first interview them. Uh, do a digital rectal exam. Do you find a nodule or not? If there's abnormality in the prostate, then they should get a biopsy. If there's absolutely not, this is the first time that they have an elevated PSA. I asked them, when was the last time you had a sexual activity? People need to know that the PSA should be drawn after 48 hours of being abstinence from sexual activity. You don't want to have any kind of prosthetic massage or sexual function within 24 to 48 hours because that can elevated your PSA. I give them about two weeks of antibiotics to make sure that there's no inflammation and, they, and also uh, reduce any kind of like prostatitis we call them and repeat the PSA and if at that point still PSA is high then I would recommend them getting the biopsy. The biopsy takes about 10 to 15 minutes in our office. It's fairly benign. There are ways to give a local lidocaine so they're not in pain and they can get back to work and the risk of infection and complication from prostate biopsy is extremely low. Dr. David Samadi, Chief of Robotics in Minimally Invasive Surgery at the Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York. It's been great talking with you. Thank you so much. Thank you.